Welcome to the Alpha Training and Consulting's online training program. Today we answer the question, what is a parametric versus a non-parametric test? These are inference study or hypothesis tests, by the way, uh, but a parametric test assumes a normal distribution and a non-parametric test does not assume a distribution. It is distribution free. Now, you must understand, uh, with mathematics and statistics, the more predictable something is, the more powerful mathematics becomes. And a normal distribution is very, very predictable. So between these two, most would agree that uh, if you can fulfill the assumption of a normal distribution, validate that, then the, then the parametric test will be more powerful. But if you can't meet that assumption, then non-parametric tests are still very powerful. Remember, these are inference or hypothesis tests. Uh, what are common parametric tests out there? The z-test, which by the way is a test for averages when your sample size is greater than or equal to 30, or a t-test for averages also. Let's just see if the averages are different. Samples uh, for n sample size less than 30. F-test is for variance. Remember, there's only two numbers you need to describe the whole uh, normal distribution, the average and the standard deviation. So whenever I run a Z-test or T-test, I also follow it up with an F-test, so I've, I know if any part of the distribution has changed. So I think that would be good advice to do the same. Chi-squared is for variance when you're comparing population versus sample uh, standard deviation or variances. And then ANOVA is also a parametric test, and uh, there's many different types of ANOVAs, but they're for averages also, and uh, they use samples. Okay, all right, what are common non-parametric tests? The Kruskal-Wallis, and I believe that's equivalent to an ANOVA test. Mann-Whitney is median, um, and it's equivalent to the T-test, in my mind anyway. And then the Levine's test, or Levin's test, depend on depending on who you listen to. Uh, it's for variance, and uh, it's equivalent to the F-test. So there you go. These are very common inference studies for both parametric tests and non-parametric tests. Thank you for joining me in this lecture, and keep in mind that we have been helping to prepare students for ASQ certification exams for over 20 years, and we've become very good at it. So please consider us when considering your provider for ASQ certification preparation classes. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.